Hello guys, I am Srikant and welcome to another video on Chemistry with Coffee. Let's get started. Today we are going to learn about distillations. Before we start, as usual, start with a question. How spirits like whiskey are made? We will get to know the answer by the end of the video. Distillations are two types. First one is simple distillation and second one is fractional distillation. Examples for simple distillation include spirits like whiskey preparation, seawater purification and etc. And fractional distillation is used in the separation of petrol or gasoline, kerosene, naphtha, diesel etc. from the crude oil. So distillations have many applications in the real life. But how can it do that? Let's see that in the principle. Same principle works for both the distillations, but the difference lies in their application and experimental setup. Distillations separate liquid mixture into individual ones based on their boiling point difference. Simple distillation is used if the boiling point difference between different liquids present in the mixture is more, while fractional distillation is used for liquid mixtures having narrow boiling point difference between various liquids present in the mixture. On the right hand side, we have the experimental setup for simple distillation. We will be discussing about them shortly. Simple distillation is used when the boiling point difference among the liquids in a mixture is more. It is used to purify salty seawater to drinkable ones, also in making high ethanol spirits like whiskey. Now let's see the experimental setup. First, fix a clean and dry round bottom flask or RB flask to a retard stand on a hot plate like shown here. Then place a small piece of Poseidian stone or a small magnetic stir bar in the RB flask for even boiling of the mixture while we are heating. Take the liquid mixture and carefully pour into the RB flask. Close the RB flask's mouth with a wooden cork that has two holes in it. In the first hole, insert thermometer as shown to monitor and control the temperature while heating. In another hole, put a bent glass pipe or distilling head which will be then connected to a condenser. The condenser has a jacket. In that jacket, cold water will be circulated for the condensation of hot vapors that are escaping from the boiling RB flask into the condenser through bent pipe or distilling head. Important to remember here is water should enter the condenser's jacket from its lower opening and must leave from the upper opening. Take two pieces of thin walled plastic tubing. Connect the one end of the first plastic tube to tap water or water pump the other end to water in opening of the condenser. Take another plastic tube and connect its one end to the water out opening of the condenser and the other end into the sink or water reservoir. You may use tap water as your water source or cold water depending upon the temperature of the vapors. Another is on the nature of the liquid mixture we can opt water bath or oil bath or sand bath as our heating source. Place a receiving flask or measuring jar at the end of the condenser to collect condensed liquid or distillate. If you want to separate ethanol and water mixture, for example, place the mixture in the RB flask, then slowly heat up to 77 centigrade and keep there for some time to collect any impurities. Then replace the receiver with a new one. Now slowly increase the temperature to 78 degree centigrade to collect only ethanol. Hold there for few minutes to collect all the ethanol into the receiving flask. Later, replace the flask and label it as ethanol. Now, we have extracted all or most of the ethanol. Only water is left in the RP flask. Now, heat to 100 centigrade to collect water into the another receiver and label it as water. Anything that has left behind in the RP flask is just impurity. Now, let's see how whiskey is manufactured. Whiskey preparation includes few steps. First, cereals like barley, are mixed with water to convert the starch into sugars, which will be followed by fermentation where yeast is added. Yeast converts the sugars into ethanol. The fermented solution now will have about 6% alcohol by volume or ABV and is called wash. The low ethanol wash is distilled for more ethanol content using simple distillation, where mostly ethanol is distilled into the receiver, leaving behind water. Now the distillate will have about 40% ABV or alcohol by volume. The above prepared high ethanol distillate is stored in wooden casks for about 3 years or more to mature before being sold in the market. Ok, this answers the question I asked at the beginning.
Coming to the fractional distillation, there is little difference between simple and fractional one. In fractional distillation, fractionating column is used in place of distilling head or a bent pipe, except that everything is same in both the distillations. The fractionating column is a big addition as we heat slowly, the vapors from the RV flask move up to the fractionating column and are condensed inside the column due to small obstacles present. This liquid will go down into the same RP flask where it has initially started. This cyclic process of vaporizing, condensing, recollecting refines the vapors to be very pure before allowing to reach the condenser and then into the receiver. For separating different components in a crude oil, rise temperature very slowly to avoid collecting mixed distillate in the receiver as the temperature difference among the various components of crude oil is very small. Increase the temperature slowly till 29 degrees centigrade and hold there for some time to collect lightweight hydrocarbons. Same way to get petrol or gasoline, keep constant heat between 29 to 85 degrees centigrade. Same way, keep temperature between 85 to 117 centigrade for naphtha, 177 to 232 for kerosene, 232 to 343 degree centigrade for diesel, 343 to 566 centigrade for heavy gas oil and more than 566 degree centigrade for residual fuel oil. Likewise, we can separate various components of crude oil for different applications. Before we let go, let's revisit the principle once again. Distillations work based on boiling point difference of mixture components. If the boiling point difference is more, simple distillation is used, whereas if the boiling point difference is very small, fractional distillation is used. Okay friends, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. See you all next week with liquid liquid extraction. Please like and subscribe our channel Chemistry with Coffee. Also don't hesitate to comment if you have something to say.